going on guys? Today's video is brought to you by the topic of uh, being a man. People take you to man up. People take you to be a man. What does that mean? Because uh, like, look, 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 you got this situation, right? You got a situation where you, you feel like, hey man, I'm a dude, so I gotta tough this out. I'm gonna cry in my car, but if anybody asks me about it, I'm gonna say it was great. So like, I was joking. I had this joke where I was like, some girl, like a vampire, or like a zombie, like a zombie with a straw, came and sucked your brain out of your ears. Okay, suck your brain out of your ears, you walk around brainless, right? So then next person that comes up to you, you gotta be cool, you gotta be cool, you gotta be, nah, you, you ain't you ain't let no girl beat you like that. You let a girl beat you like that? Nah, 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 man, nah. I, I liked it, bro. Like she sucked the brain out of my ears. I don't remember what two plus, I don't know who I ain't. Where's my, sh but if somebody was like, hey man, I heard the girl suck your, to your brain out of your ears, you'd be like, hey man, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, hey, it was something I never had done before. All right, it was crazy, it was excellent, it was amazing. He walks away, <laughs> I didn't want that, man. I can't even remember. I just feel sadness, bro. But you gotta, you gotta tough it up, because if a girl do something to you, you gotta be like, hey man, I enjoyed every minute of it. One minute when my brain disconnected from, from, what's that called, man? Look, all right, I get it. Now, you want to be tough. You want to be cool for your boys. But sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I never had a problem with somebody being a little sensitive to me, all right? Look, you want to feel sensitive, bro? That's your feelings. I'm not going to undermine your feelings because you're trying to be a dude. Like, bro, hey, look, some hurt your feelings, bro. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. All right? If I was joking with you and we cool and we on that level and I say some jokes that go over, that, that don't go over with you, right? Come to me like a real person. Don't come at me on some, ah, you're my feelings. I'm going to kill you now. I was like, whoa. All right, first of all, you come to me and be like, hey, man, the joke you said it was kind of. I was like, all right, man, I'm sorry, I, I got you. I know my levels now, it's cool. Like, you don't, you don't come at me on a hard level, I'm gonna beat you up now. Like, bro, it's all jokes. You say a joke to me about my mama and how, I don't know, I can't think of your mama joke right now, but, cause I, I didn't want to say anything about my mama, cause that's my mama. If you want to say something about my mama, we can fight right now, right here. No, I'm just kidding, we're not gonna fight. My mom would be like, why are you fighting? Nobody, nobody cares. I've done that before. When I was younger, uh, somebody said something about my mom and I told my mom and she was like, so? And I was like, oh, I guess you're right. I get, I get, mm. All right, I guess I don't have to fight for that. I, right, cool, okay. So ever since then, I've been like, yo, somebody can say something to me like, yo, man, you ugly. I'd be like, and your point is? My point is that you ugly, bruh. So? That's pretty much it. That's all I want to tell you. Have a good day. And then you too. All right, cool. You know, you move on. You know, you ain't got to be sitting here arguing all the time because somebody thinks you ugly or somebody thinks you fat or somebody thinks you skinny or somebody thinks you got a dookie on your side of your head and you probably should wipe it off. But like, no, just two different things. You know, somebody just saying, hey, bro, you got a little, got a little sh sh shiza on the side of your face here. You might want to get that off. And like, Yo, man, that, that's my business i was just looking out for you but whatever you know what i'm saying you gotta you gotta be all you know cool about it so i've never had an issue with somebody being like hey um something happened to me the other night and i i just need to talk about it i have a hard time you know it's, it's you ain't got a man up. there's no such thing as manning up bro sometimes you got a man up in situations i mean it's not a really a man up it's like just do something about it you know it doesn't have to be something aggressive. You just be like, hey, I feel like I gotta come to you because this is a, a situation where I need I need some understanding, I need some closure, I need some I need to figure some stuff out. All right. You ain't gotta be like, oh I'm a big man, I'm gonna knock it out. Alright, something happening. You you go to the cops, you go, you go to your your, your parents, you go to your friends, and be like, yo, when that zombie sucked my brain out of my ears, bro, I don't I didn't like that. Like that's that's not something I recommend. Because that's how you get false information out there. People be like, oh, getting your brain sucked out is cool. Let's let's do that. Let's all go get our brain sucked out. And then now everybody's like, oh, I guess we should do it because everybody says how great it is. But no, the per, per the first person that got it done didn't enjoy it. So y'all just sitting here on a lie and y'all lying to each other because y'all, oh we dudes, we do this what we do. Yeah, I liked it when she when she uh cleared my 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 headspace up. Just took my whole skull opened it up like a can of Pringles and just once she popped them, she couldn't stop them. You know what I'm saying? I j just, I liked it. It was, it was good. Like, yeah, I can't sleep at night. I have night terrors and I will never trust a woman again. But you know, um, I enjoyed it. I really did. So, you know, you got to really be cool, man. Everybody's too in their heads about everything. Let your real feelings show. All right. Stop being so scared of everybody's opinions. If you don't like something, just say you don't like it. Hey man, you look too close to me. I need you to back up. Give me my space. All right. You can say things a little nicer. You know, it, it don't like if somebody's coming at you aggressively, you'd be like, all right, I'm gonna take myself out of this. You, you being way too wild. Like if you like, Hey, um, uh, 
sir, can you please give me a little bit more space? They're like, no, F you. And you like, oh, all right, first of all, rude. Second of all, that's real rude. Actually, I, I'm, I'm mad at you, we're gonna fight. No, I'm just kidding. But you'd be like, all right, cool. I'm gonna just remove myself because I don't feel like I should be in a in a in a mode where I'm gonna have to fight somebody. You go tell somebody else, and maybe somebody else up above you can figure out the situation. Call the cops. They be like, hey, you you, you I back up. Call a supervisor. Call a call a security guard. Hey, y'all really do need to back up. Y'all get the space, especially with this quarantine time. Y'all need to really not be standing so close to each other. But I don't know. I just, I just was thinking about that. You know, because sometimes people be like, yeah, man. You know, as a dude, if something happened to you and a girl do it, or or you won't don't want to be a punk. Cause like, no, nobody cares about being a punk, dog. You shouldn't care about being a punk. If something happened to you bad, let the people know, bro. Dudes are real good at that. Like, I think girls, they think girls think it's easier for dudes to just say stuff, but nah, most times dudes just really try to make everything a joke so they don't have to deal with it. They'd be like, ah, ah, yeah, remember that time I got beat up yesterday by them three dudes? They came over here and beat me with bats. I lost three teeth. My elbow got broke. My neck, I still can't breathe right. You know, it's crazy, bro. They start crying a little bit, but you know, people always want to be like, hey, no, nah, that's cool. This is just what happens out here. That's not what happens out here, bro. Really? Be like, hey, man, I, I need to talk about it. this somebody because I got, I'm having panic attacks. I'm, every time I see three people walking towards me, I get a little scared, a little shaken, you know? I need somebody to walk with me sometimes so we can both get jumped because I'm scared, you know? So I'm just saying out here, y'all need to be safe and y'all need to talk out your brain stuff, all right? Don't let a zombie suck your brain out because somebody said they like it and they didn't even like it. Like somebody doing some kind of drug, they're like, oh, this is the best drug ever. And you're like, oh, I guess I'll try it. But they like, mm -hmm, no, I really don't like it. I just wanted to, to be in the hype because peer pressure got me to this point in the first place. So now I got to be all, <laughs> it's the best, <laughs> you know? So y'all just stay cool, stay to yourselves. If you don't like something, don't do it. If, if something happens to you and you need to talk it out, talk it out with somebody. If somebody you talk it out with is not reciprocated in a way that is positive or a way you need, that's not the person you need to talk to. You need to talk to somebody else, all right? I know you seem like you're letting everybody know your information, but sometimes it's not good to keep that up in there, bro. That just rotates and becomes volatile and you just end up you know, hurting yourself in the end. So you might as well just let that air out. Be like, hey man, look, I need to talk to you about this thing. I know, don't. Like, it's not a joke in time. I just really needed somebody to hear me out. Just that's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do, bro. People be like, yeah, man, I had something happen to me like that a couple of weeks ago. I'm sorry that you had to go through that. I, I get it. Like, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to seem weird. But like, sometimes it's good to let people know into yourself. I have a problem with that. I do not let people in. I don't. I keep it all to myself. My friend Lewis just said a couple days ago, he's like, is it weird? I know you for 10 years. I don't know that much about you. I was like, yeah, I'm very closed off as a person. I trust very few people with my inside feelings. I gotta take my own advice, I get it, but I will eventually. I'm getting there, I have to make sure that I am okay with myself before I can, you know, let unleash my baggage on other people. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm trying to do. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get an understanding of myself before I just throw it on the people. So, hope you guys like this video. Uh, if it was helpful to you or anything like that, I guess that's good. I mean, you you do you, bro. You do you. Have a good day. I uh, hope you have a great day, great year, great month. Hope you take all the little pieces of your life that make you happy, put them all together, make your dream life come true. Because anything is possible with positivity, persistency, consistency, and um, letting your feelings out. Let your feelings out. Plus, they're angry ones. Don't hit people or punch stuff. Just, you know, talk your angry feelings out. Be like, man, I feel real frustrated right now. I need to go to like a batting cage or like a boxing ring, you know, get one of them punch bags, work out a little bit, run, you know, something like that. All right. So, uh, guys, I'll see you next video.